Okay, today we're going to be processing some sinew. I need to make a bowstring for my bow for the upcoming arrows. So I just want to go over real quick how I process the sinew and how I make the bowstring. Um, I think that I think everyone knows how to get deer tendon. That's what this is here, deer tendon from uh, from the dumpster of my local processor. <laughs> and. Uh, it just dried out. It's been sitting here for about a year, so it's pretty dry. This is from the um, from the rear of the leg, I believe. Anyway, I take a my hard hammer stone and my abrading stone, just pound on it, not too hard. starts to turn white. Just pound on it in different directions. Now the stone is not completely smooth, it's a little bit rough. Same with this one. It, it keeps the uh, sinew in position. If it was real smooth, it'd be slipping around a lot when I'm trying to hit it. Try not to hit it too hard because it can it can break the fibers of the sinew. The rock can smash through the fibers and they won't be very strong. So when it gets down to getting kind of soft, I don't hit it as hard, I just hit it more times. Sinew takes about, I don't know, two or three weeks to dry in a good environment, a good, nice and dry place. If you have a dehumidifier and a fan, it probably takes a week or less. These were dried in the sun, and uh, now that I'm pounding on it, it feels a little hard, like it's a little too dry. I think we'll be able to separate some of this into fibers so I can show you what I do. Still a little bit tough, but you get the idea. Just uh, tear it in half. If it's still too clingy, then you just keep working on it. Some guys use pliers to, to, to uh, rip it apart, but if you rip it too hard, all you're doing is tearing the sinew fibers. again. The short pieces like this I don't worry about, I just toss those. Like this stuff, I don't keep that. This is what I'm looking for here. And I just take my fingernail and straighten these out. Add it to my collection. I got a big old bundle here. But uh, basically, what I do is I get it down to about a sixteenth or something like that. I don't like it too clunky. 
that's about as thin as I want to go for a bowstring on these. And if the if there's a real hard spot on the end, I'd like to trim it off. This is just my billet. a chert and uh, let me just get one of these that way you can see this has that hard cut off end on it and uh, makes the string look really bulky you just take I usually take scissors but a piece of flint works just as good and just kind of trim that off I don't do it on all of them, only when I when I feel it's real hard at the end. That one just came off. Yeah, these are soft on the end. I just keep going, I just keep ripping it in half. Ripping half again. to the size thickness that I, I like, check the ends, hard ends, just trim those off, these ends are pretty good, and these are quite short actually, but it still works for a bowstring, and uh, quite a bit for a bowstring. This is probably enough, but I just wanted to show you how I did it.